one of the most prestigious institutions offering chartership for quantity surveyors is the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, also known as RICS or RICS. If you are thinking of embarking on this chartership route and you're a quantity surveyor, then this video is for you. We're going to break down the competency requirements for the quantity surveyor pathway. Before we begin, if you enjoy watching our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We upload a new video every Wednesday. Also, if you have an idea for a future video idea, we would love to hear it. We reply to every comment on our videos and consider all suggestions put forward. Your RICS submission will consist of three main elements, a CPD log, summary of experience, and case study. In this video, we're going to be looking into the summary of experience for the quantity surveying pathway for the chartership qualification. In total, there are 13 sector pathways for associate qualification and 22 sector pathways for chartered qualification. Competencies in the summary of experience are broken down into three sections, mandatory, core, and optional. Mandatory competencies are the personal, interpersonal, professional practice, and business skills common to all pathways and mandatory for all candidates. Technical core competencies are the primary skills for your chosen pathway, in this instance, quantity surveying. Technical optional competencies are selected as additional skill requirements for your pathway from a list of competencies relevant to the area of practice. Each competency is defined at three levels of attainment. You must reach the required level in a logical progression and in successive stages. Level one, knowledge and understanding. Level two, application of knowledge. Level three, reasoned advice, depth and synthesis of technical knowledge and its implementation. There are 11 mandatory competencies, six core competencies, and two optional competencies, which you can select from a range of options. The mandatory competencies are as follows. For level three, you have ethics, rules of conduct, and professionalism. For level two, you have communication and negotiation, client care, and health and safety. And for level one, you have conflict avoidance, management, and dispute resolution procedures, accounting principles and procedures, business planning, diversity, inclusion, and team working, inclusive environments, data management, and sustainability. Next, we have the core competencies. All of these are level three and include commercial management of construction works or design economics and cost planning, construction technology and environmental services, contract practice, procurement and tendering, project finance, control and reporting, quantification and costing of construction works. Please note, RACS states, candidates working in a commercial or contracting environment will likely choose commercial management to level three. Candidates working in a consulting environment within either the public or private sector will likely choose design economics and cost planning to level three. Optional competencies. Here you will need to select two competencies you think will be best suited for your experience. All of these are level two and include capital allowances, commercial management of construction works, or design economics and cost planning, whichever is not selected as a core competency. Conflict avoidance, management and dispute resolution procedures, or sustainability. Contract administration, corporate recovery and insolvency, due diligence, insurance, programming and planning, project feasibility analysis, and finally, risk management. If you'd like to see another video on these competencies where we go in depth into each one, let us know in the comments below. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.